Hi, welcome to today's webinar. We are looking at your forever account. Today, we're gonna to talk about the next steps for your memory keeping goals if you've opened a forever account, but you're not sure what to do with it. Um, you haven't done anything with it yet. So um, I'm excited. We're the forever, your forever account was one of the best things you can have <laughs> for your photos and memories. So I'm excited to um, get you going. I'm Jennifer Wise and I am um, a forever ambassador and a photo and story treasures consultant. So we're gonna start with the basics. Um, couple things I wanna mention before we get into the your next steps. So this class just touches on the basics of getting started um, on your memory keeping goals with forever. We'll have some Q and A at the end, I'll turn off the recording. But I also want to make sure that you know first about these resources to get you specific help. Um, there's five bullet points here. If you want to grab a pen and write these down, uh, it's not a bad idea. So the first one is my YouTube channel. You can find it at youtube.com slash at photo and story treasures. Um, I've got like a hundred videos up there, I think. So if you think, hmm, I'd like to make a calendar with forever. I wonder how to do that. There's a tutorial. Actually, there are two tutorials um, to make a calendar. Uh, you'll find how to make cards. If you think, you know, I really like to put all of my pictures from one year in one book. There's a tutorial for how to make a yearbook. So there's just a lot, um, a, a lot there for you. And I'll I'll touch on those, uh, a, a couple other things as we go through this class. But the second bullet point, the second thing I want you to, to remember that you have access to is uh, my email, photoandstorytreasures at gmail.com. If you have questions, ask me. That's what I'm here for. The third um, resource is uh, the the welcome emails that I sent when you very first opened your forever account. So maybe they went to spam or maybe you haven't read them for a while. Um, see if you can find those, pull those out. If you don't have them, can't find them or just want me to send them to you again, I will. It's a series of four. And then I have, which I'll mention again here toward the end of the class, but I have um, once a quarter, I hold a free online, um, it's a casual work time. I call it photo rodeo because the idea is to rein in your photos. Um, and it can also serve as a Q&A time, right? If you start working on something and you're like, hey, I got a question, I'm right there. So um, you are invited to those every, every time. And then um, the last thing I wanted to mention is that I do offer free 20 minute Zoom consults for beginners when you're getting started and you just wanna um, have some um, you know, guidance. So just wanna make sure that you know about those resources before we move on. The other thing I wanna mention again before we get to the solutions is uh, savings. Everything that we're gonna talk about here is on sale every week or two. Um, some are on sale all the time. And uh, so I just want to make sure that you know about that. Uh, the first bullet point here kind of touches on that. Before you order something, check the deals tab at the website. It's like at the top, like upper right-ish. Um, and there will be a savings code next to whatever it is that you want to uh, purchase. So just there'll be a little like button there that says copy. So just copy that, paste it when you're checking out and you will get that extra savings. Savings vary between about 20 and 50%, depending on what it is that you're um, purchasing. And then I wanted to just let you know if you didn't already about Forever Club, because you can actually add more savings on top of the sale prices. So Forever Club, I love it. It's a little like a savings account with interest. If you think about saving 5% as your interest. <laughs> so what you do is you deposit club dollars in your account, and then you just spend them as you like while getting that extra 5% savings. And if you... I, I like always having something in there if I want to buy artists and digital art, or if I want to, you know, you could you could save up month after month to buy artisan or you know, 15 family cookbooks at the end of the year, or you know, whatever you want. And club dollars never expire. So anyway, and again, just another little 
tip, something to know before we jump into our solutions here. So that's what we're going to do next. So you've opened your forever account. Woohoo! Now what? <laughs> so I want you to take a minute, just like really like take a minute, close your eyes if you have to, and think about when you first learned about forever. Because when you first learned about forever, something inspired you to open an account. So what impressed you? What was it? What made you think, let's give this a go? What did you want to accomplish with forever? So if you, if you can remember, if something came to mind, I want you to state your goals, like write it, write it down, like really. And then it'll help you move forward. All right. It'll help you as we talk about the solutions here. So these are the most common reasons that people want to use forever. So which one is yours? Which one is the one that fits you that came to your mind? So some people uh, want to use forever to create photo memory books, digital scrapbooks, and other, you know, photo gifts and home decor, like canvases and blankets and stuff. Um, so that might be the thing that drew you to forever. Some people decide they want to own their cloud photo storage, video storage, instead of rent it and pay a monthly fee, right? Uh, or... And some people think, oh man, I read somewhere that Google reserves right to my photos and they can sell them, which is true. Um, so I'm looking for something that's private and guaranteed for my lifetime. So you may have been drawn to forever uh, for that reason. Or in the fourth bullet point, maybe you've got some old VHS team or film or slides or something that's sitting around that you want to get digitized. Uh, or maybe two or three of those things are the, the reasons that you thought, hey, let's give this a go. This sounds pretty great. For me, it actually was all those things when I first started with Forever. All right, so um, before we look at each one of those three things, I just want to point out quickly that if you want to create a print project, digital scrapbooks or whatever, or if you want to safeguard your photos in permanent cloud storage that I refer to as forever storage, um, you will want to know how to upload and organize your photos in your forever account. So make a note, jot, jot down, jot this down. Um, I have created a, it's a 13 minute video. It's called how to upload and organize photos in your forever account. Um, it's on YouTube at, again, my my um, YouTube channel, I was like station. No, that's not a <laughs> channel. YouTube.com slash at photo and story treasures. And then um, find that. And that will, that will really walk you right through. Like I tell you, like click here and then look what opens and then you can do this and this. And right. So it leads you right through. Now, if you, um, that should get you started for sure. <coughs> Excuse me. If you want more tutorial videos or more ideas on how to organize and kind of do different things with your um, photo organization, I actually have an entire playlist on my YouTube channel called Photo Organization Storage and Preservation. So you're welcome to, you know, look at that playlist and then you can find, I don't remember how many videos are on it, 12 or I don't know, something, a bunch. Um, so there might be something helpful for you there. All right, so let's get going on those three, three things that um, probably led you to forever. <clears throat> so if it was the first one, if you want to print with forever, um, I'm going to kind of go over what that looks like, and then we'll talk about your specific next steps. So uh, forever gives you three options for printing your photos and memories. I love that because you can choose which one fits you best based on your preferences, needs, and your available time. So if you um, love being really creative and you know making pages and stuff, you're gonna want one of the options more than you're gonna want the other options. And if you're exactly the opposite of that, you're gonna think, oh, no, 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 please don't make me do that. So here are the three different ways that Forever gives you to um, print your photos and memories. So the first one is auto print. Um, it will actually, you just push a button, it auto populates pictures into your book or project and you choose a background design. Some new ones were just added there. Some, it used to be just one solid color and now there's like, you know, 
floral and stripes and different things and it's nice. And then you just add your captions. There's not a ton of room for journaling in auto print, um, but that is being developed. So that may, that may come along. Design and print is um, again, like auto print, it's a, a free software platform just right at the forever website. And uh, you use professionally designed templates that have spots for your photo goes here, your photo goes here, your text goes here, right? And then you just quickly plug in your photos and your memories, your, your text or journaling. Um, <clears throat> that one is a little, um, I don't know, I want to say fancier looking, you know, the, your photo might have a frame around it with a little star or, you know, flower or something like that. So um, it looks like you did some digital scrapbooking, but you didn't really have to. So I, I think that's a, a fun option. A lot of people really like that for something speedy and beautiful. And then the third option is Artisan, which is a computer program that you purchase and download. You own it. And that allows you full creativity and flexibility on creating pages. You know, what if you want to put a photo here and then overlap another photo or, you know, tilted a little bit or whatever. You can do all that in Artisan. So if you want to print, if that was your goal when you opened your Forever account, <clears throat> you have these three options. And then here's what to do next. If you aren't sure yet uh, which of the options would be the best fit for you, then make a note of this too. There is um, a 22 minute video called A Walk Through Forever's Print Platforms. It's again on my YouTube channel at photo and story treasure. So youtube.com slash at photo and story treasures. And that will really help you because I kind of give you a little taste of each one, which is why it's 22 minutes. <laughs> um, and so that will help you decide which one um, you want to do. It gives you the differences between the programs, the three different programs and, and kind of a, a hands-on look at each one. And then your next step is just to start creating. <clears throat> and if that is where you're kind of getting tripped up, then we'll talk about that a little bit <laughs> in just a minute. So, all right. So option two, if you opened a forever account because you thought Ooh, forever storage sounds like nothing else out there and it sounds really good, then this next part is for you. So yes, you're right. Forever's cloud storage is very different from most of the options that you're going to see around. First of all, it's private. There's no data mining, meaning the uh, Forever doesn't sell your data or your pictures, which some, I, I still can't believe this is true, but some um, photo storage companies do. And then um, your photos are guaranteed safe and secure in Forever Storage for your lifetime plus 100 years so that you can pass it down to another generation. There's also no monthly fee. You actually buy forever storage so that you own it. That's just it. I always think of it like um, if I have a bunch of printed pictures and I uh, want to, you know, save them in my house, I might buy a little, you know, container and then I own the container. <laughs> it's mine. I don't have to pay a rental fee for it or anything. It's the same thing only digitally with forever storage. Um, you can save photos, videos, audio files, and PDFs. They're triple back, backed up and bank encrypted. The PDFs are a cool thing to be able to save because every time you create a scrapbook, you know, a, a photo memory book or um, anything, a mug or a calendar or anything, it's saved as a PDF. And that's also in your account. So you'll have a hard copy of your family yearbook or whatever. But then you also have a PDF, a digital copy of it, which is really easy to share. And um, it's just a nice backup. So, and then um, another thing that's great and very unusual about um, Forever Storage is that um, Forever will migrate your files if that becomes necessary. So what that means is like today we, we take pictures in JPEG format, right? If someday... JPEGs become, you know, the floppy disks of the 2050s or whatever, <laughs> then um, Forever will actually change all your file formats for you, which I love. And then there's a free app, which is super convenient. I love uploading my pictures to my Forever account straight from my phone using the app. Awesome. 
And then um, your forever storage, you can share um, like whole albums with people if you want to, with anybody that you choose. All right, so that's the, the info about um, forever storage. So again, if that was your reason that you thought, mm, this sounds pretty good, here's what you do next. First, watch that how to upload and organize photos in your forever account video on YouTube. Next, log in and start putting your photos and videos in your two free gigabytes of forever storage that your account comes with. You have that already. If you've not touched your forever account at all, you have that right now. Uh, two gigabytes is about 300 to 500 pictures, depending on the file size of your pictures. And then um, once you've done that, if you need additional storage, which most people do, um, most people need at least 25 gigabytes, um, just based on how many pictures we take. <clears throat> anyway, once you need more, click um, preserve and share. <clears throat> it's in the middle of the screen, like upper left middle. Um, and that's where you'll purchase additional storage. The best sale price FYI on storage is 25% off. And it's cheaper to buy, um, it's cheaper by the gigabyte when you buy in bulk. So like, if you think you're going to need, <clears throat> let's say 50 gigabytes, it would be cheaper for you to go in and buy 25 now and then 25 later than it would be to buy 10 and then another 10 and another 10 and another 10. It's cheaper by the gigabyte in the 25 than it is in the 10. <clears throat> but you can do obviously however you like. And uh, just so you know, there is a monthly payment plan if you like, if you don't want to buy it all in one, like, you know, one, one lump sum, <clears throat> you can choose a monthly payment plan. It's a 24 month payment plan. Sorry, I need something for my throat. Um, it's a 24 month payment plan. So it, it is not like a rental, like you do with like Dropbox or whatever. Um, so it, once that 24 months is up, you own it. You don't like pay a fee or anything. <clears throat> okay. Then you may also like just a little note down here at the bottom. If you um, don't know about the app yet, you may like the video tutorial about the app. I called it how to show anyone the photos you don't have storage space for on your phone, because that's, that's basically what you're doing. You are, I've, I have pictures from my parents' wedding in my <laughs> forever storage, and I didn't take those pictures on my phone. So it's pretty cool to be able to, sorry, um, have access to all the pictures you own, even though you didn't take the picture with your phone or you don't have enough phone storage or whatever. You have access to them on the app, which is great. Okay. So the last thing, number three that we, that we talked about at the beginning, if you want to digitize, if that was the thing that made you think, gosh, I really need to check out forever. All right, now I need like a serious cough drop, sorry. Um, I really need to check out forever because I have a pile of VHS tapes of my kids sitting on my desk. That was me. So if that's what brought you to forever, let me tell you a little bit about it. And then we will look at what you can do next. So forever's digitizing service is called the forever box, which I know is not that clever, but it's very cool. <laughs> It has um, the Forever's digitizing service. Actually, this is super cool. It has the highest customer satisfaction of any digitizing service, uh, service out there, um, which was verified by Trustpilot. Uh, so that's kind of a big deal. And uh, you can see in the image on the left, basically, you get a box, you fill it with your goodies, you send it to Forever, they digitize them. Yay! It's like magic, like it really is. <laughs> they... The reason that the first bullet point is white glove service is they, I just love how they treat my memories. Like they, they are very careful and cautious and, and um, like if there's a, a section in your video, that's like a blank section, like fuzz, you know, or whatever, that's longer than eight seconds. They'll cut it out and like, they would do what I would do if I had the skills to do this for myself. So it's pretty nice. So 
forever digitate digitization includes so there's so many things you can have digitized film vhs beta tape slides scanning they can do scanning of photos they can do scanning of like old 12 by 12 um traditional scrapbook pages um all sorts of things i even read they can do oh what are those called eight track tapes so there's a lot of stuff they can do so here's how it works when you buy a box you're not just buying the box it includes shipping three ways and the cost of the digitization for whatever's going in your box the box comes with directions like a little packet here's what you do so that you know exactly what you're doing i was a little nervous when i first did that and i did fine i just followed all the steps in the little in the little booklet and it comes with barcode labels so you literally are putting stickers on everything that belongs to you and there's a barcode on your box so that it can't get lost, right? Anything that has the barcode goes with your box. So that's that's kind of the, the lowdown on the box. So if you want to digitize, here's what to do next. So you log into your forever account, you click digitize at the upper left, and then you read the specifications for each type of box. There's a specialty box and I think it's, a regular box, uh, standard, that's what it's called, standard box. And it depends on what you're digitizing, which one goes in which one, which, you know, items, which, what you'll want. And then um, there are three different sizes. So, you know, read the specs and figure out what you, what you want. But then keep this in mind. You can actually fill the box with more items than are listed. This allows you to save on shipping by digitizing as much as you can all at once. You pay for the box up front as if it had, you know, like like the small box is for two items. So you pay for the box up front and you pay for two items. But then if once you get the box, this is what I did. I pulled like nine items in it because it fit in the box. Um, then Forever just charges you an additional per item fee for the, your extra items, but you save on that shipping, so. And then all you have to do next is wait a few weeks to receive your digitized memories. So woo it's, I loved doing that. Okay, so those are your next steps, but I do wanna mention one idea to help because sometimes people think, well, yeah, I know that's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I just haven't done it. So sometimes working with other people can help you accomplish your goals, especially if you've written it down on your calendar and you're like, oh yeah, I was going to do that photo rodeo with Jennifer. So um, that is one option to do join photo rodeo. It's like I said, very casual. It's free. It's online. So simple, but it's just a time for you to put on your calendar and say, yep, I'm going to spend some time with whatever your forever memory keeping goals are. Um, another option would be to host a class. I teach anything um, about forever and you can invite friends, family, whatever. The, the great thing about that is that it can lead to the next bullet point, which is that you could own organize your own, you know, girls night type social, your own photo rodeo or whatever. Um, and just invite over some friends to work with you. You could do this in person or you could even do it online. I used to do digital scrapbooking with a friend of mine after I moved, I would say halfway, but all the way across the country. Um, and we just got together over Skype. So you can invite people outside your neighborhood, either one work if you want to do it in person or online. And then the last um, thing I wanted to mention is that I do hold other events too. Um, you can find those in my monthly newsletter, Facebook group, and the blog tab called Our Community and Events. All right, so mm, I didn't put my blog here. Sorry. So you can find my blog at life, L I F E, tales like a story, T A L E S, life tales books dot blogspot dot com. It is actually shown, you can see right here on my little business card, life tales books dot blogspot dot com. So I'm going to just finish here. And then turn off the recording and get, um, and we'll go for questions. But I just want to leave you with other resources or, you know, a reminder of resources. So again, my email address, don't forget the Zoom consults. If you need to just chat with me, I'm happy to do that. I do have about a hundred video tutorials on YouTube. 
I have got specific ones about, you know, how to make a mug or a journal or whatever. But then I've also got just photo organizing, creating books, using your forever storage, three different ways to save on forever products and stuff. So um, also again, events and classes, most of them are free. And then my Facebook group is called Photo and Story Treasures. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the recording and we'll have some Q and A. Thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful and you can get as much out of forever your forever account as it has to offer you because it has a lot.